Hey guys and welcome back for another slow flow. For today's session all you're going to need is some space on the floor, a mat if you have one and whenever you're ready come and join me in a supine position and we'll begin. So if you come into a supine position on your mat and just take a moment to get settled, let your arms fall by your sides, let your feet fall open and just take your attention to your breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In your own time, just take three deep breaths, focusing on drawing that breath all the way down into the base of your stomach, filling up from the bottom first. So layering that breath all the way up to your ribs, up to your collarbone, and then exhale completely. And as you exhale, you might want to pretend you're blowing out through a straw Really control that breath out. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then gently bring the knees in towards the chest and just hug them for a moment with both arms. Maybe you want to rock from side to side. Do whatever you need to do. And then when you're ready, just place your hands on top of your knees and begin to draw circles with the knees, maybe big circles, maybe small circles, whatever you're feeling today. We'll go five or six times in one direction. And then when you've done five or six times in one direction, we'll go back the other way. When you've done five or six times in both directions, just bring the knees back to center, hug them in tight again with both hands, and then we're going to inhale as we bring our nose towards our knees, squeeze, and then exhale, release. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale to lift, nose to knees, exhale, release. Last one. And then slowly just relax your legs, relax your hands and come all the way up to a seated position over your bed. Find yourself in a seated position on your mat and it's an option here for you to take, come on Ives, you're blocking the whole view. <laughs> an option here for you to take half lotus if you want to. So I'm gonna take right arm, right leg underneath left and left foot is gonna come into the crease of my hip with the sole facing up. If you can do full locus, by all means, feel free to do full locus. Obi, go away. Go on, away. <laughs> You're a nightmare today, come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, stay there with that. Good boy. <laughs> so from here, we're just going to do our usual lateral stretches and twists. Inhaling to lift our right arm up. Exhale as you reach all the way over to the left. Take three deep breaths. With every inhale, think about expanding into that underarm, into that armpit. And as you exhale, see if you can reach a little bit further. The last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come back up to center. And we're gonna to twist to look over our right shoulder as we exhale. Using that left hand against the right knee to pull ourselves around. Three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly come all the way back to center. Unravel the legs and we'll switch sides. So left leg is going to go under. Right leg's gonna go on top. Sole of the foot comes in toward the hip crease. Again, if you're in that full lotus, then feel free to just switch the legs over. And we'll repeat on the other side. So inhaling to lift the left arm up high. Reaching up tall. Exhale, reach all the way over to the right. Three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. And then inhale as you come back up to center. Switching over, so taking the right hand over towards the left knee, inhaling to lift and lengthen, exhaling as you twist to look over that left shoulder. 
Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then unravel yourself as you slowly come back to center. We're going to swivel around now onto our hands and knees and do a couple of cat cows. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're just going to squeeze the shoulder blades together as we dip the stomach towards the floor and look up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale as you round through the spine, pulling the shoulder blades apart, pressing the ground away and sucking the navel back and up. I'm going to do three more. So inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Last one. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Return back to neutral. Keeping on your hands and knees, we're gonna come into a short lunge stunch. So we're gonna take the left foot outside of the left hand. You're gonna pull back into the hip as you reach forwards with the heart and find that stretch down the back of your um, leg and into your hip area. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. And then we're gonna take our left hand off the floor. As we inhale, palm facing down, we're going to reach forwards. And as we exhale, sweep it over to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale to sweep. We're gonna do three more. Palm facing down. So you should feel this maybe in your shoulder, your upper back, and a little bit in your hip, last one. And then as we come back to centre, we're going to pull our hand back in, palm facing up this time, we're going to reach forwards. You probably won't be able to reach as far, and as we exhale, sweep over to the right. You should now feel it transfer down more into the hip, into the mid waist area. And again, we're just doing five repetitions. Last one and then come back to center. We're gonna reach over with the left hand to right foot, bringing that heel in towards the glute, pulsing a few times, and then holding for five, four, three, two, one. Release, release that foot down. We're gonna come up into an upright position. So staying in this kneeling stance, you're going to inhale as you lift with your right hand up towards the ceiling and then exhale as you reach all the way over to the left and maybe take your left hand to the floor if you can. Try and feel that stretch coming down the side of the body into the hip flexor. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, we're going to sweep that arm down and around, creating a spiral circle, coming back up with both arms, exhaling to sweep down and around. So we're getting some mobility into those hips as well and into the back. One more spiral all the way around. Come all the way back up and then exhale, release the hands to the floor. Step that left foot back and we'll repeat on the other side. So right foot comes forwards, setting yourself up in that kind of short lunge position, pull back into the hip as you reach forwards with the heart. Take three deep breaths. And last deep breath all the way in. And then this time we're going to lift that right hand up, reaching forwards, palm facing down as we inhale. Exhale to sweep all the way over to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale to sweep. Three more. Last one. Come back to center. 
Bring the hand back in, palm facing up now. Inhale as you reach forward to feel that stretch. Transfer as you exhale and sweep over to the right. Deeper into the side, into the waist and the hip. Last one. Come back to center. We're gonna take that right hand up and over, reaching back for the left foot, bringing the heel in towards the glute, pulsing it a few times. And then holding for five, four, three, two, one, release. We're gonna release both hands off the floor now, coming into an upright position, but staying in that kind of lunge, staggered stance. Inhale to lift the left hand up tall, feel that stretch in the side body, and as you exhale, reach all the way over to the right. You can either let that right hand dangle or bring it all the way down to the floor, wherever your mobility allows. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then bring that arm around, spiraling around in that circle position again, bringing it all the way up and over. We're going to do three circles. Last one. Come all the way back up to the top. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. We're going to take the hands slightly further back now, uh, so further forward, sorry, and step back with the right foot into your down facing dog position. So spread the fingers, press through the hands, bend at the knees, and point that tailbone high towards the sky as you pull those shoulder blades apart and create space across the upper back, releasing the neck from the shoulders. Take a moment there to just pulse through the hands, pressing the crown of the head towards the floor. And then when you're ready, just begin to pedal out through the feet, opening up the calves, the hips, the hamstrings, the ankles, and of course the feet. Take one more deep breath all the way in. Find length in the spine, exhale, push both heels towards the floor and then slowly walk the feet in towards the hands, coming into your Uttanasana ragdoll variation. So bend at the knees, draw that belly over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, opposite hand to opposite elbow. And you're just gonna gently swing from side to side. Rock back and forth, whatever you need to do, just feel that stretch moving around in your glutes, your hips, your low back, your hamstrings. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale as we come all the way up, extended to us. Now we're reaching up tall. Eye gaze up towards the fingertips. And as you exhale, draw the fingers just back slightly, lifting through the heart, sending the hips forwards, taking a nice deep breath in, finding a mini crescent pose. Inhale back up to center. Exhale as we swan dive back down into our Uttanasana forward fold. We're gonna come into three crouch curls. So we're going to inhale as we lift the heels off the floor, knees to chest, nose to knees, coming into that crouch position. Exhale as you push up and back. Find that stretch in the hamstrings. Inhale to crouch. Exhale, push up and back. We're gonna do one more. Inhale to crouch. Exhale, push up and back. From here, bring the hands together, palms together, hands to heart, and we're gonna come into a twisted um, forward fold. So we're gonna take the left elbow to the inside of the left knee, straighten the right leg, bend the left, inhale as you lift and twist, look over that right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, two more deep breaths. One more deep breath left. And as you exhale, come all the way back to center and we're gonna repeat on the other side. So the right elbow comes to right inside knee, straighten the left leg, bend at the right, inhale as you lift and twist to look over that left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, two more deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release, come back to center. Find your Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale as you come up into your toes, bring the knees towards your chest, and then come slowly down into a seated position on the mat. From here, we're gonna come into um, 
I can't, leg stack pose. <laughs> Just trying to get my words out then. So taking the left leg underneath, we're going to keep the shin fairly parallel to the front of the mat if you can. And then the right leg is going to come over the top. You're going to stack your right foot on top of left knee and right knee should go on top of left foot. Try and get both sit bones together. You should feel this in your right hip for this version. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. And then as we exhale, you're going to think about bringing that chest to the shin as you reach forwards over the legs. You're going to take five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you slowly come all the way back up to seated. I'm going to switch sides. So right leg's going to go underneath left. Left foot is going to stack on top of that right knee. Left knee is on top of right foot. Set yourself up. Make sure those sit bones are connected. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale as you fold forwards over those legs, bringing the chest towards the shin and taking five deep breaths. Last one. Exhale completely and then slowly inhale as you come all the way up. We're going to come down into a supine position now. So coming onto your backs, we're going to lift. So keeping the left leg to the floor, we're going to lift and extend the right leg to the ceiling. You can take a hold of the back of your calf, your thigh, calf, or if you can, hook your big fingers around your big toe. Flex the foot back towards you and push that heel high towards the sky. So then using that hand, pull the leg in towards you, keeping it nice and straight. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. You're going to bring that knee now in towards your sternum. So you're taking both hands around the front of the knee. You're going to bring that knee as you inhale in towards the center of your chest. Take two deep breaths. And then as you exhale, just release slightly and then bring it out to the shoulder. Take another two deep breaths. Slowly release that leg. Taking a hold now of the left hand on the outside of that right knee. Take the right arm out wide, palm facing down and think about gluing that shoulder into the ground. As you exhale, draw that knee across the body out towards the left and look towards the right. Take three deep breaths. When you've taken those three deep breaths, just gently bring everything back to center as you inhale. Bring the knees in towards the chest, hug them with both arms, rock from side to side, and we're going to switch to the other side. So extend that right leg all the way to the floor as you exhale, and the left leg goes up towards the ceiling, foot flex back towards you as you inhale. Again, taking the thigh, calf, or hooking the fingers around the big toe, flex that toe back towards you and pull that leg in towards you, keeping the leg nice and straight, finding that hamstring stretch. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Bend the knee, hold the knee with both hands, and as you inhale, bring that knee in towards the center of your chest. Take two deep breaths. Mm -hmm. 
and then exhale, release, slowly release off the tension. And as you inhale again, bring the knee out towards that left shoulder. Take another two deep breaths. When you've taken both deep breaths on both sides, so we're going to release that knee just slightly. Take the left out arm out to the side, glue that shoulder to the floor, palm to the floor as well. Right hand comes over the outside of the left knee, draw that knee across the body towards the right and exhale, look out towards the left as you inhale with your head. Hold for three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you bring both knees back to center, hug them in tight, rock from side to side, and then we're just going to roll over onto our fronts. So I'm gonna come all the way over into a prone position now on my mats. And we're gonna take the left hand back, or sorry, the right hand back to right foot, bringing that heel in towards the glute, pulsing it a few times. And then holding for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, and then we're gonna switch sides. So left hand goes back to left foot, pulsing a few times as you bring that heel in towards the glute. And then hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. From here, we're gonna tuck the toes, press up into down facing dog. I'm gonna swivel around so I'm the right way around. <laughs> Find your down facing dog position. Pedal out the feet, open up the calves, the hips, the hamstring, and then inhale as you lift that left, right leg high to the sky, bend at the knee, find that hip twist, open up that hip just slightly, and then swing the leg through, planting the foot between the hands, finding a low lunge position. Reach that heart forwards, eye gaze forwards, chest comes through the arms, roll those shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, one more deep breath all the way in. And as we exhale, we're gonna pull back into half splits, reaching nose towards toes, straightening that front leg and stacking that left hip above the left knee. From here, we're going to just limber between the two poses. So inhale as you reach forwards, finding that low lunge position, finding that stretch in that left hip flexor. Exhale as you pull back. We're gonna do three more. Inhale to reach forwards. Exhale. Pull back, inhale, reach forwards, exhale, pull back. Last one, inhale, reach forwards, exhale, pull back. From here, inhale, come through to that lunge position, lift the back knee, inhale as you scoop that back leg up and back, finding that three leg down facing dog, bend at the knee, play with that hip twist again, and then we're gonna come into pigeon pose. So swing that leg all the way through, bringing the knee through at a 45 degree angle, sliding the left leg back and setting yourself up in that nice level hip position. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, press the ground away, open up that left hip flexor. And as you exhale, melt the body forwards over that front leg. Think about drawing that chest over the thigh, feel that stretch transfer into the glute. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then slowly inhale as we come up onto our hands. Take the feet back, step back to down facing dog, pedal out the feet and we'll switch to the other side. So inhale, left leg goes high to the sky, bend at the knee, play with that hip twist. And then when you're ready, swing that leg through, plant the foot between the hands, coming into your low lunge position. Reach the heart forwards, eye gaze forwards, take two deep breaths. Feel that stretch in the right hip flexor this time. Last deep breath all the way in. 
and as you exhale, pull back into that half split, stacking that left, uh, that right hip, sorry, above the right knee, reaching with the nose towards the toes. Two more deep breaths. And then we're back to limbering that pose four times in total now. So we're going to inhale as we come through to that lunge. Exhale as you pull back, half splits for one. Inhale to come through. Exhale, pull back for two. Inhale to come through. Exhale, pull back for three. And then last one, inhale to come through. Exhale, pull back for four. Inhale, come back to that low lunge position. Swing that left leg up and back, three leg down facing dog. Bend at the knee, play with that hip flexor twist. And then when you're ready, swing that leg through, coming into your pigeon pose on the other side. Untucking that back toe, finding that nice level hip position again, pressing the ground away with your hands. And then as you exhale, come all the way down into that folded sleeping pigeon position. Three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. Plant the hands back underneath the shoulders. Step back to your down facing dog position. Pedal out the feet, open up the calves, the hips, the hamstrings, and then just gently walk the feet in towards the hands, coming into that Uttanasana forward fold. Take a moment there to just feel that stretch in the hamstrings. Exhale, and then just gently come all the way down to seated, and then of course onto your backs for our final couple of stretches. So finding yourself in a supine position, we're gonna bring our knees in towards our chest, just hug them with both arms once again, rock from side to side, massage that lower back. Then when you're ready, take the hands out wide in a T-shaped position, palms facing down, glue those shoulders to the floor. Exhale, drop the knees all the way over to the left. Inhale to lift and twist the head towards the right. Think about keeping those shoulders glued. You can let gravity do the work with the knees, press down on the outer thigh or even extend that top leg. Take five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then slowly inhale as you lift your knees and your head back to center, and then drop the knees as you exhale over to the right. Inhale to lift and twist the head to look toward the left. You can again press down on the outer thigh, let gravity do the work, or extend that top leg. Five deep breaths, keeping those shoulders glued to the floor. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then just gently release your foot. If you're in that extended leg pose, inhale to lift the knees back to the center along with the head, hug them in tight, rock from side to side, massage that lower back. And then whenever you're ready, roll over onto the right side of your body and gently come all the way up to seated. Finding yourself in a nice seated position, take your hands up above the head as you inhale, palms together at the top. As you exhale, bringing the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.